Before we start the video, leave a like, a comment and a subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to get the Photoshop files and every other project file for this video, you can become a patron of mine. Check it out through the link in the comments or stick around until the end of the video to learn more. Alright everyone, so I know this video is a little bit different from what you're used to on this channel, but I promise you this video also involves graphic design and you can paint this jacket even if you've never painted a denim jacket before. You don't even need illustration skills. So what you will need for this video is a jacket obviously, white fabric paint, black fabric paint, a large and small brush and the brush can be larger than this, a fabric marker, fine liner or brush pen, a drawing tablet and a projector. Alternatively, if you don't have a projector, you can also use carbon paper. And I'll explain how and why once we get there. The drawing tablet is optional as well and you can use tracing paper as an alternative. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to determine what and where we're going to paint something on our jacket. As you saw, for my jacket I wanted to do something like a collage of some sorts. I was working on a piece with a local artist called Pavement a couple of weeks ago and we came up with this concept for an art piece. It's about the need to feel pain in order to feel happiness. Because if happiness were to be a constant, uh, you wouldn't really feel happy anymore. Anyways, during this process I made a collage and I used tracing paper to trace over the collage and turn that collage into an illustration. We didn't end up using it, but the illustration that I made looked pretty dope, so I decided to put it on a jacket. Alright, so the first step is to make your jacket into a canvas. Because you cannot always see any color of ink on denim very well, it's always best to use some sort of primer. I usually paint a couple of coats of white fabric paint on my jackets. I would advise you to use a large brush to do this. I used to have a larger brush, but I couldn't find it for this tutorial, so I used a smaller one. But it doesn't really matter, it just takes a lot more time this way. So in this example I did three coats, but it depends on what paint and what jacket you use. As long as the parts you want to paint are covered with a solid white coat of paint, you're good to go. Just make sure you leave the paint to dry each time you apply a new coat of paint. Alright, so while our paint is drying, let's start on our design. I looked up a couple of photos on Unsplash for use for my collage. My idea was to have the faces all grown together and making it look as it was bursting out of the one person in the middle. I cut the photos out and made the composition, and then I cut the main photo in half and warped both halves to the side to make it look like the character burst open. Then it was time to grab my drawing tablet and trace over the collage. If you don't have a drawing tablet, you can print out the collage on a couple of pieces of paper and then trace it with tracing paper. Then you can scan that back in so you'll have a digitalized version of your illustration. So one way or another, you now should have your illustration on your laptop somewhere, whether it was drawn with a drawing tablet or traced and scanned back in using tracing paper. So the main reason why I want this design on my laptop is because I suck at doing scaled up illustrations. I can draw kinda okay on a small piece of paper, but once it starts scaling up and I need to do larger stuff, I just completely suck at it. But this is where my beamer comes in. You want to project your illustration onto your jacket so you can trace it with some sort of ink marker or whatever. So I put my beamer on my desk in my office and hung my jacket on a clothing rack. I also taped the sleeves onto the desk it was leaning against to minimize the moving of the jacket as I was painting the outlines. For this I used a fabric marker at first, but later found out that the brush pen actually had better results. So I only recently bought this beamer, but I used to do this without one. I printed my design out with low transparency and I put that over a piece of carbon paper on the back of my denim jacket and then I started tracing. The carbon paper then makes sure that the illustration gets on the back of the jacket. This is definitely more time consuming, but it's a nice alternative for if you don't have a beamer. However, beamers used to cost a lot of money, but I just bought mine for 60 euros, so that's not too much if you ask me. So now that you have the base of the illustration on the back of your jacket, it's time to start the actual painting process. Grab the black fabric paint and the small brush and start painting. This takes some time, but it's actually quite relaxing. So after you finish painting, you can use baking paper, if that's the right word, and an iron to embed the ink onto the denim. So the reason you want to do this is if you wash your denim jacket, the paint won't come off immediately. I however would advise you to not wash your jacket at all, because hanging it in the wind usually gets rid of like some stenches that you might have, and you know, washing it will always ruin the ink in some way or another. 
So there you have it guys, a pretty easy method to paint your denim jackets. If you'd like the Photoshop files for this project, you can actually become a patron of mine. If you don't know, thanks to my patrons, I'm actually able to give you guys free videos on a weekly basis. Without my patrons, I wouldn't be able to do dreadlabs full time. As a thank you, you will get access to all of the project files from all of my tutorials, a 15% discount in my asset web store, and an exclusive Discord role. If you go one tier up, you'll also get access to exclusive videos, such as how to create a death metal logo from scratch. So if you want to become a patron, there's a link down in the description. But if you don't have the money to support Dreadlabs, that's completely fine. A like, a comment, and subscribe already does a lot. So with all of that out of the way, I hope you have a lot of fun making denim jackets. This was Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.